ATLP 140 XP is a fully manual professional turntable designed for DJ applications as well as general listening. This direct drive turntable incorporates an anti-resonant mass damped die cast aluminum bladder and S-shaped tone arm. Designed for connection to components with a dedicated phono input, the turntable includes a high output ATXP3 DJ cartridge, pre-installed and aligned to an ATHS6 half inch mount head shell. Before the turntable can be used, it needs to be set up. Carefully unpack the turntable and verify that you have all of the parts and accessories. Position the turntable chassis on a sturdy surface. Carefully place the platter on the spindle and make certain it is fully seated. Place the felt mat on the platter. Next, assemble the tone arm. Remove the twist tie and foam sheet and temporarily secure the tone arm to its rest with the locking clamp. Attach the head shell with ATXP3 cartridge by inserting it into the tone arm socket. While holding the head shell in position, rotate the head shell locking ring counterclockwise. As the ring rotates, it pulls the head shell into its seated position. Tighten carefully. Install the counterweight, making certain the black stylus force gauge dial is oriented toward the front. As you rotate the counterweight, it will thread onto the tone arm. Now we will balance the tone arm, set the tracking force, and adjust the anti-skate for the ATXP3 cartridge. This important process allows the cartridge to track properly, and failure to do so can cause the stylus to wear prematurely and possibly damage your records. First, set the anti-skate adjustment knob to zero. Carefully remove the stylus protective cover by sliding it straight forward off of the front of the cartridge exposing the stylus. While gently holding the head shell to stabilize the tone arm, carefully release the locking clamp. At this point the tone arm is unbalanced and can easily swing. Be careful not to drag the stylus across the platter. While gently holding the head shell, rotate the counterweight until the tone arm is horizontally balanced. It should hover freely just above the platter and not touch the platter surface. Once the tone arm is balanced without touching the counterweight, carefully move the tone arm to its rest and secure it using the locking clamp. Now set the stylus tracking force. The ATXP3 DJ cartridge has a tracking force range between 2 and 4 grams, with 3 grams standard. Depending on your application, you may desire to track lighter or heavier than the standard 3 grams. Locate the black stylus force gauge dial on the front of the counterweight. Marked with numbers and lines indicating different tracking forces, the dial can rotate independently of the counterweight. Without turning the counterweight, carefully rotate the stylus force gauge dial until the zero on the dial lines up with the center line marked on the top of the tone arm. Now set the tracking force by rotating the entire counterweight assembly in a counterclockwise direction. As you rotate the counterweight, note that the gauge dial rotates with it. Continue turning the counterweight until the 3 on the gauge dial lines up with the center line mark on the tone arm. You have now set the standard tracking force for the ATXP3 cartridge. If you ever change out the cartridge and head shell, you need to rebalance the tone arm and set the tracking force to the value required by the new cartridge. The ATLP 140 XP has an anti skate force adjustment. This small outward force can be applied to the tone arm to compensate for the natural skating force that pulls the tone arm toward the center of the record. For best performance during normal turntable operation, set the anti skate adjustment knob to the same value as the cartridge tracking force. When properly set up, the tone arm is parallel to the record surface. If you are playing thicker records, adjust the tone arm height. Loosen the tone arm anchor lever and using the height adjustment dial, raise or lower the tone arm as needed. After adjustments are complete, tighten the tone arm anchor lever. The turntable stylus cue light pops up, illuminating the record surface to assist in finding the groove in a low light situation. For best performance, the turntable should be level. Using a small bubble level, adjust the turntable's feet as needed to make certain it is level. With the turntable assembled and leveled, the power and audio connections can be made. First, connect the AC power cable to the turntable and plug it into a convenient AC outlet. The ATLP 140 XP's output is designed to connect to dedicated phono inputs on DJ mixers and some hi-fi receivers. Connect the turntable's dual RCA output cable to the mixer's phono input and make certain the mixer's input selector is set for phono. 
If your audio device has a separate ground terminal, connect the spade lug on the dual RCA cable to the grounding lug on your audio component to help minimize hum. The turntable's dust cover is designed to protect the turntable when not in use and should remain off when records are playing. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.